All right, here we are. So uh, this video is specifically for Leora who commented on my video on how to make tracking stage lights in Blender. Um, thank you for your for your question on how how we can make the how we can animate the color of the lens and the color of the light all at the same time just with one one attribute. Um, this is a really 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 fun thing to to figure out, and I learned a lot doing it. That and I learned a lot of like really useful stuff. So I am going to try and show you that now. Um, we are going to first try and figure it out with, um, or I'm going to show you how to do it with cycles, because I think it's going to be a little bit more kind of how you want to, how you want it to be, how you want it to, to figure, just like having one, one dial to have the, the color change. I'm also going to have one dial to turn it on or off. Um, so, and then after that, I'll show you how to do an EV. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So I just made my, I made a quick mock-up of the, of the scene. So we got the, the light, the housing, the lens, and the, the actual light that, uh, that would project onto, onto whatever you want. Um, so we are, we're trying to control two hue hue variables the hue variable both on on the lens and the hue variable both on the light so the hue variable on the lens that's uh that's pretty easy we can just go into here get a hue saturation um i'm gonna plug it into the mission i'm also gonna plug it into the base color so that when we uh when we turn the light off um when we do that one um we're not just left with like a white a white thing um if you if we really want to, we could probably make it a transmission type of uh, type of material, so we can see like a, a lens in the back. But my original tutorial didn't have that, so I'm just going to ignore it for now. Um, so yeah, now we can just uh, you know turn the whoops. I think just move move one of the saturation knob over, and it. Uh, inexplicably turns uh, cyan, but that's okay. So now we have to we have to get a, get one of these open for the for the light here. And the reason we're in cycles, and the reason this works really well in cycles, is that we can use nodes in cycles. Um, if we go back to Eevee, we don't have any any option to use nodes at all. The only way we can change the color is with this uh, this property right here. Um, as far as I know, it'd be really cool if there was a way to figure that out. So we're going to go back to cycles. We're going to use nodes and that opens this whole thing up for us. So now we can also do that. Um, they're not the same color right now, but that's okay. Don't worry about it right now. <laughs> we'll figure it out in the end. Um, so yeah, in here, we're also going to add a hue saturation knob so that we just have the, uh, the one to five hue slider um so yeah we're also going to go in here and turn the color up and yeah so the next thing that we have to do is we have to make a custom property um this was the thing that i've just spent the past hour learning how to do um and also making a, a failed first attempt at this tutorial doing <laughs> Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the lens over here. I'm going to go to the object properties. I think that's what that is. Yeah, object properties and then custom properties down here. I'm going to, whoops, <laughs> that was left over from my last attempt. Um, I'm going to add, and then we have this new custom property. I'm going to edit it. I'm going to call it color. Um, and I'm going to press OK. I'm also going to right click copy data path. You could also shift control C. That's kind of cool to know. Shift control C. I'm going to copy that data path. And yeah, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the hue over here. And I'm going to add a driver. Um, I'm gonna, just going to open this in the driver editor. So here is where we get pro custom property. We just like have any variable kind of like maybe not any variable, but custom properties and like space and rotation transforms 
driving other properties in the shader editor or anywhere, I think, basically in, in Blender. So what we did was we made a custom property and we we're gonna have that custom property drive the, the hue node here. So the way we're gonna do that is change this to single property, um, change this to have the property looking at the lens object, and then the path is gonna be, we're gonna control paste the thing we copied, um, which is just this bracket parenthesis, or <laughs> bracket quotation color, quotation bracket, whatever. Um, cool. And now if we go to this color and we move it, you can see we're, uh, yeah, we're getting some, we're, we're moving it, we're actually changing it. So we're gonna do the exact same thing now to this light because we have a hue saturation node here too. So we're gonna go to the hue, I'm gonna add a driver and we're gonna go object lens. Oh, right now this is on the this is in the transform driver thing. We're just gonna go single property. So lens and the path is gonna be again our I'm gonna control paste that uh, that custom property. And now if we click on the lens again to access this custom property. Whoa, they changed together, but they're opposite for some reason. And this happened last time. I'm just gonna put an invert node here and that fixes it. So yeah, now we have this guy and we can uh, we can keyframe that however we want. And I think if I control F6, yeah. Do that and then go over here and then change that down to there. Edit that. Let's just like do it again. And then it's just gonna stay there. So yeah, now it goes from cyan, yellow, kind of red, and then just stays at red. Um, or if you don't want to animate it, don't animate it. Just uh, use this color kind of easier if you shift drag to to do it um, more incrementally if you just want the light to be blue just have it blue and you're just going to change the color in the custom properties um, so yeah and uh, while we're here I want to I want to try and show you how to switch the value kind of doing the same thing because there is one more trick that we we can learn doing this so we are going to stay under the lens object properties, custom properties. We're going to add another one. We're going to do change this to um, on off. Um, again, it's going to be zero to one. OK, we are going to want to copy data path. Sh shift control C also if you want to do that. Um, and then we're gonna go to, let's do it on the light first. So the thing that we're gonna be changing is the emission strength. So let's right click, oops, add driver, show in drivers editor. Um, let's select emission so we can actually edit these things. Let's select a dot, um, change the transform channel to a single property. Go to the lens, path, control V, on, off, blammo. But now, this is what's going to be confusing. If we go back here and go to our custom property on, off, try and turn it off. What? How come it's still on? That doesn't make sense. Well, it makes sense because automatically um, Blender adds this variable plus one expression. So you can see where the data is at right now. It's at it's at one. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> we're on the wrong. We're on the wrong thing. Here we go. Um, so yeah, if we go, we go to the light. We go to the spotlight. We zoom out a bit. You can see we're at two right now because it's taking that variable of on and adding one. So what we have to do is just delete that. And now one truly means one and zero will truly mean zero. So we go back to the custom property 
on, off, on, off. Cool, eh? And now we are gonna quickly do that on the lens as well. So we're gonna do that by changing the value color or the value uh, slider, value slider. So we're gonna add a driver, uh, open drivers editor, and we are going to change this from transform channel to a single property. Uh, the, prop the, the, the thing is gonna be a lens and the path is gonna be control V on off property. Um, and then again, we are gonna delete this plus one variable that, or this variable plus one thing that Blender automatically adds. And you can see that it just went from two to one. Uh, so we can close that and go back down to the on off and they both go on off together. Isn't that so cool? I think that's so cool. On, off, on, off, on, off. And you can edit that. You can do the constant cyclic thing so it can, you can make a, actually, I'm just gonna do that really quick. So it's kind of hard to see because we're, we're doing this in, uh, in, <laughs> in cycles in Blender, but yeah, we can have strobes. How cool is that? I didn't do this the best, but pew, 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 pew. it's going on and off all on its own. Cool, eh? I think that's pretty cool. Okay, so what about if you want to do this in Eevee? Well, you take a big sip of your tea, uh, and then you delete all of these because you don't need them anymore. So what we have to do now, which is EV, EV is going to be, EV is, is annoying. Trying to do this in EV is annoying, but it's possible. So what we are going to do is kind of the same thing, except we're going to use the transform uh, drivers. So I have this empty. Okay, so first, f first things first, to affect color, like additive color theory 101, I guess, which is just like, there's three color channels. In your monitor, every pixel is made up of three LEDs, a red one, a green one, and a blue one. The varying values of either red, green, or blue in your monitor make every single color. Um, that's just kind of how additive light works. So we have on the red channel, we got red, and the opposite of that is cyan. And then we got green, opposite of that is magenta. And then we got blue, and the opposite of that is yellow. So yeah, with those three colors, like magenta is just a combination of red and blue. And cyan is just a combination of blue and green. And then yellow is just a combination of green and red. So um, we just have to be able to control control those. Um, quite coincidentally, three values of color, three axes in space. We got X, Y, Z, red, green, blue. So what we're going to do is just use this empty to, to do that same thing. So go to our lens, um, go to the, the color add driver, open drivers editor, we got red object, we're going to use this first empty and x location is on is on the red channel. So we're going to go to the green channel object empty. This one is going to go on the y location and then blue object empty this one is on the Z location. Um, so you can see now if we move this empty on the X axis it is going to go. Why is it going opposite? Oh, because this is at one for some reason. OK. So go on red, it goes red. This way it goes cyan. 
Red doesn't look that red, though, for some reason. I think that's because... Uh, just for some reason. We'll never, never really know. You can't know with these things. Um, if we go up, that's blue. If we go down, that's yellow. Um, if we go on the y-axis, green and magenta. You can get some really cool effects if you want by uh, hitting G, Shift, Z, and that controls it just on the just it'll just stay on the x and y plane and you can like animate that you could even like auto keyframe that which is kind of cool actually i'll wait till i'll wait till we have the the light i'll drive it up as well um so yeah we're gonna do the same thing over here um delete the driver on the hue add a driver on the that c color what how come we have nodes we shouldn't, we shouldn't have nodes here. <laughs> okay, they're not working, that's why. Okay, so that, that, saturation. Let's go back to our light. This is the one we have to add a driver to. This is the one that actually changes the color, yeah. So, add a driver, show in driver's editor. Spotlight, red channel will be empty, X location. Green channel will be empty, Y location, blue channel will be empty, Z location. Cool. So yeah, now we got blue, yellow. The light for some reason kind of kind of jumps a bit, but if you render it out, it should be okay. Uh, we got red and cyan. I don't know why the red isn't the like the primary colors aren't as vivid as the as the other colors yeah like blue isn't as vivid as yellow and green isn't as vivid as magenta so i don't know why it's just kind of what it is but yeah that's uh they're they're both changing color at the same time um what i've done is made this little text cube and made it so that they don't render on export. So I can just like, okay, I want it blue and cyan or red and yellow and magenta, and we can just do it that way. Um, yeah, I think that's kind of kind of it. And then I guess also if we want to change the, the color, you know, we're we're not going to deal with we're not going to deal with uh, trying to do the the power because it has to be like two thousand. It wasn't working when I was trying to do it before. So so yeah, we're not going to deal with that right now. But yeah, that is how you get drivers to control two different properties in Blender. <laughs> Um, I hope that helped you out, uh, Leora. And thanks again for asking this question, because this is going to be very, very helpful for me in the future. Okay, bye.